Hello, hello everybody, Henry from Fun Game Reviews, coming to you guys once again from more awesome guild clash action. We're going to be fighting fully united, as you guys can see how well we are currently doing, and look at who is on top again. Currently I'm at rank 1, it looks like 5G probably going to beat me. But regardless, I am starting off real good. Hell yeah. So let's go ahead. We're going to be checking out my attacks here. I My first attack is against Loveless. I hit Loveless twice. Sadly, I did not clear him out. But I did the very best that I could. So here we go, boys. Here we go. As you guys can definitely see, we are definitely moving on in. Moving on up very nicely. So, as you guys can see, coming in from the southwest corner, everybody is moving quickly, doing as much damage as possible, and uh, annihilating that base. All right. So, as of right now, we are definitely moving in real quickly, real strong. I got to give my support to Mr. Abyss Demon right here, as he is kind of riding solo. My Bastion, all that damage and everything is doing nicely. As you guys can see, damage-wise, we are definitely pushing, pushing, pushing. And right here, they are definitely killing the wolf. Wolf is officially down, and we start plowing, plowing, plowing. So as you guys can see, this is the full assault versus Loveless. So this was my first assault while it was at 100%. So we're going to see how well we accomplished, how much damage we can officially do here. So far, it's looking good. So let's move on. All right, 4x speeds, guys. You guys can see how quickly and efficiently I do my damage. All heroes are up, and we are definitely killing, killing, killing. All right, 22 seconds left on the clock struggling on that town hall literally the town hall just not dying but look at my abyss demon 2.7 million damage oh yeah all right moving on uh, let's go check out the second assault here i went for a one shot on the tower as the ham requested uh, to uh, stop on keeps and go for a one shot so we're moving on towards a one shot here on gunark or gun go narc whatever you want to pronounce it anyways moving on we are coming in from the northeast corner coming in real strong as you guys can see a look at that invincibility oh yeah definitely doing great as we start pushing right now we are definitely focusing a down center abyss demon literally in a fire of all victory statues Literally, as long as I keep his heels up, we should not have any struggles whatsoever. So as you guys can see, I am trying to be more efficient as possible. I gave the, the speed up to my Toxic Shaman, Rainy Van, and Ambrosia initially uh, to kind of get the damage out quicker and efficiently. As you guys can see, all heroes on the opposite end, almost dead here. Uh, Gracie still kind of alive here, but we are still walking through this base. Very, very nice. All right. Ambrosia definitely doing a great job right now. Ambrosia definitely shooting down as quickly as possible. Little wizards are also getting sped up according to a Skull Mage there. Skull Mage from my Bastion definitely pushing really nicely. My Bastion heroes are all currently alive and kicking, so very, very nice. We are going to move at 4x speeds. We're going to see the one-shot versus Gunnar. All right. All right, you guys can definitely see we are definitely plowing, plowing, plowing. Uh, even though my Bastion heroes did not go that quickly, we still did tremendously well. Look at my Biz Demon doing 3.2 million damage. Ooh, baby very nice all right we are moving on to 5g versus bayou he's gonna be doing a walkthrough of this base oh yeah look at this full frontal from the west side which is the best side west side yes all right we are definitely walking in a very nicely very smoothly from the left hand corner here we're definitely moving in. Abyss Demon going dead center, walking in, going with massive, massive heels. Very, very nice. 
All right, he has already taken over all of the, the heroes, enslaved some of them. As you guys can see, he's literally trying his best right now to plow through this base. It's definitely looking good. Uh, ooh, a wolf comes out from uh, that bastion uh, coming in at him. I don't know if that... No, that's actually the wolf that's a main line defense, not the bastion. So, correction. But there it is. Abyss Demon still killing that base really quickly. Uh, but we'll see. That Town Hall still has full life. He has about two minutes left. He's currently working on killing that wolf. Ooh, and that wolf is kind of bringing down the life of one of his ally heroes here. Uh, kind of looked like it was a uh, great sage in there. Oh, no, that was a wolf. His wolf versus their wolf. All right. So, anyways, we're definitely watching. 1.36 seconds left on the clock. We're moving at 4x speeds. Let's see how well 5G does against Bayou. Um, we're gonna see if this is a one shot he didn't actually state when he shared it if this was a one shot or not but definitely he he earned a whole hell of a lot of points guys a whole hell of a lot of points so we're checking it out right now we'll see how well he does so there it is 5g with pangoli 2.1 million damage very freaking nice all right we're moving on guys so let's see here uh, let's see, let's see, walk in the park, and then you guys can see my next attack versus Loveless, only 2% left, that was gross, but we're, we're gonna do the best we can here, guys, let's see, uh, definitely, you guys can see, coming in from the exact same corner, which is the southwest corner, we're gonna try to see if we can actually plow, as of right now, I put the, the drop of the spell edges in the right spot, literally giving several of my heroes a speed boost, so that's definitely doing really great, but we're kind of, uh, we're not struggling at all. As you guys can see, we're killing their heroes on the opposite side really fast and efficiently. So let's see if we can actually go the distance. I did tell you guys, 2.5% uh, left over. That was a tough battle. Just know these guys have full morale on all troops which is why they do so much more damage and just surviving as you guys can see literally we only have like five percent on our morale uh for all troops that's really like nothing that is seriously like nothing at all uh but there it is guys one minute left on the clock moving at four xp so we'll see how quickly i clear through this base Ugh, so disappointing when you guys hit that like two percent 2% is so lame. So lame. All right. Moving on, baby. Moving on. 4 million damage from my Abyss Demon. All right. Last but not least is a one shot from 5G versus L Roma. So I hope you guys are definitely enjoying. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, man. Don't forget to do and comment down below what you guys think. And if you guys definitely enjoy the battle and. If you guys see how we are dropping and showing you guys how we assault the enemy during guild club. Alright, so very nice. 5G coming in from the east side. Pangola shooting down the enemy real quick. We'll see if he can actually manage and maintain, maintain, maintain. Alright. So far they are killing the tank, I think. Just wanted to zoom on in there. Yes, it was a tank, I believe, uh, because it, it lasted quite a while. But there you go. Toxic Shaman immediately takes over and kills one of their guys, which was Pangoli, and instantly gets destroyed. All right. So as you guys can see, definitely moving along here. Ambrosia has, ooh, Ambrosia has a Djinni shield on. Uh, or who? I forgot who gave that purple shield, but that looks like a Djinni shield. Anyways, ooh, he's he's getting hurt a little bit as Ambrosia shoots down his heroes freely. Uh, but definitely, they are walking through pretty nicely. Pangoli still kicking. He should be capable of shooting Ambrosia down. We're waiting for that blast off there. But other than that, Abyss Demon's trying to heal the best he can. He is surviving. Oh, and he barely just used his Divine? What? He barely just used 
Abyss Demon Divine, like, right there. I was surprised. Normally, you go for the stun, like, early on uh, in the battle. But regardless, still doing amazingly. Good job, 5G. And uh, literally, now it's only literally killing the entire base. So we're speeding this up at 4x speeds, guys. 4x speeds. All right. All right, look at all that damage. Just amazing. And Lightning saves the day. Oh, and he still had Rainy Van Divine, dude. Like, wow. All right. Oh, actually, it turns out we actually have a little bit more. So let's go check out one last one. 5G versus Pizza Man. <laughs> I love that name. Pizza Man. Oh, my God. All right. Coming in from the southeast corner. 5G versus Pizza Man. Oh, man. I can imagine right now just like this guy just dominating pizzas or something it's ridiculous all right pen goalie definitely walking in as you guys can see all heroes are literally obliterated super quickly there uh only thing left is ambrosia ambrosia is not going to be a problem for him as you not as you guys can see all heroes are still up and he even has three of the the enemy heroes as slaves and it literally just walking right through very freaking nice all right, good job, 5G. All right, we're going to go 4 XPs. There is no heroes left standing. So let's watch his cleanup. All right. I kind of I kind of am surprised too. His heroes are really really spread out, yet he's still doing really really well. So that's cool. Uh, normally for me, the way I have it set up, I'm all my heroes are normally like really close to each, to each other is in range of my abyss demon so yeah there it is guys hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to like subscribe and share peace out everybody